I'm your student meteorologist, Olivia. It's right around 1 o'clock, and as you can see from the parking lot behind me, we are currently experiencing clear, calm, and sunny skies. The current temperature is around 70 degrees, and it appears to be a perfect day to go on a walk. Tonight, leading into early morning, you expect to see cloudy skies into fog and temperatures dropping into 60 degrees. As always, have yourself a wonderful day. Now let's take it back to the studio. Thanks for the update, Olivia. Now let's try to put a smile on your face with the jokes of the day. Hi, my name is Michael, and here are some jokes to remember. Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. Why did the football coach go to the bank? To get his quarterback. Join us again for some word jokes, but until then, let's take it back to the studio. Thanks, Michael. Now for all of you word lovers out there, we present to you the word of the day. Hi, my name is Azuri, and welcome to the segment dedicated to improving your vocabulary, the word of the day. Today's word is infuriate. Infuriate is a verb. Infuriate is defined as to make very angry or enraged. Provoke and madden are synonyms for infuriate. In a sentence, infuriate can be used like this. I infuriate Holly whenever I talk. Infuriate, can you use it? Thanks kids, now let's go to Dean with today's true or false. Hello, my name is Dean, and today's true or false topic is SpongeBob. Let's see if you can figure out which statements are true or false. SpongeBob was originally going to be named SpongeBoy. This is true. SpongeBob SquarePants is shown on Cartoon Network. This is false. SpongeBob SquarePants is aired on Nickelodeon. When SpongeBob and Patrick became entrepreneurs, they decided to sell donuts. This is false. SpongeBob and Patrick sold chocolate bars. Thanks for watching today's True or False. Now let's take it back to you in the studio. Thanks, kids. Now from the creative minds of Riley and James, it's a stop motion short titled Cutting Love. <laughs> Hi, my name is Danny, am I, and I'm on Team Out. Three words that best describe me are athletic, smart, and empathetic. When I grow up, I want to become an engineer. My favorite hobbies are playing lacrosse and going in my pool. That's all about me. Now let's take it back to the studio. While I was straying middle school and out in the community, we strive to be safe, responsible, and respectful. In the spirit of this, we want to explore the following scenario. If someone is making fun of someone else because of their haircut, what would you do? If someone is making fun of somebody else's hairstyle, after that happens, you can go up to them and say, like, oh, I like your, I like your hair, it looks nice, and stuff. If someone is bullying someone on their hairstyle, what I could do to make a positive impact on that situation is to compliment them on their hairstyle. Um, if someone insult, insulted my hairstyle, I would say, at least I don't look like a clown. <laughs> I would tell the bully to stop and ask them how they would how they would feel if they were in the victim's position. What I would do if someone was being made fun of because of their hairstyle is tell the bully to stop. I would tell them that's rude and you shouldn't judge someone by how they look. I would like walk away and say that's not nice. Um, if somebody made fun of my hair, I would compliment their hair. I would do if someone made fun of my hair, I would stand up for myself. Great job, kids. Now let's go to Elise with Today in History. Hello, my name is Elise, and I'm going to share some facts and events that took place throughout the history on this date, May 12th. On this date in the year 1926, Ronald Amundsen, Lincoln Ellsworth, and Alberto Noble took the first trip over the North Pole. Based on this event, we are going to focus today's facts on the North Pole. Time of the day does not apply in the North Pole, so there is no need for clocks or watches. Did you also know that Shinji Kazuma rode a motorcycle to the North Pole? That's a look back in history for the date May 12th. Now let's take it back to the studio. Thanks kids. People enjoy foods of all different types. We were wondering, if you could eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Let's see what the kids in the hall had to say. I have to pick one food to eat for my whole entire life, it would be McDonald's because I just love it too much. Food for the rest of my life, I would eat steak. If you eat a food for the rest of my life, I'd choose wings. 
And for the rest of my life, I'd eat sushi. Some food I can eat for the rest of my life, it would be steak. If I can eat any food I want for the rest of my life, it would probably be bananas. For the rest of my life, it would be mac and cheese. If I had to eat one food for the rest of my life, I would eat chicken wings. One food for the rest of my life, it would probably be chicken nuggets because they're really good, they're really good protein. If I could eat any food for the rest of my life, it would probably be waffles. Thanks kids. Now let's go to Aria with the lesson of the day. Good afternoon. My name is Aria and today's lesson is from science class. Today in science class, you learned about continental drift. Continental drift is shown by Alfred Wegener showing evidence of the same fossils in different continents. Continental drift killed off the rest of the dinosaurs. That's all from today's lesson. Now let's take it back to the studio. We want to thank everyone who contributed to today's show. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our next episode. Until then, stay safe, responsible, and respectful. Have a great day.